Hey there, and welcome to the UXF channel. Today we're going to do an unboxing of an instrument, so I'll just bring it over. I can't find my knife, but I think I can get it open. There we go. Long box, as you can see. And inside we get the Enya Smart Ukulele. Now I've wanted to review one of these for a long time. Uh, a while ago I reviewed the Populele and I haven't reviewed the Populele again in the Uguide format so that'll give me a chance to do that. But this operates very much in a similar way to the Populele. It has a fretboard that lights up. Now I don't need this Ukulele in terms of learning how to play but it can be a great teaching tool, and especially making videos and other things, I can have a fretboard light up and show you what to play. So let's open it up. You get a quick start guide, which we probably won't get to today. Warranty policy. The ukulele in a case. A bag of various things. So we'll take a look at all those here. So let's go. Let's see. Let's do the accessories first. Just a plastic baggie. And you used to do this really nice leather bag, but you've got a few of them. This is, looks like a strap. It's their traditional red, white, and blue strap. So that's pretty nice. Continuing on, you have your charging cable right there. You have a cable, another user's guide of some kind. Not totally sure what this is. This ukulele in it has a card and instructions that are not in English. So you get one of those. And oh, I had a, I'll go ahead and get this. Came along with a hex key, probably for the neck. I am not even sure what that is at the moment. And some E6 strings, which I am fine with actually most of the time. They're flare carbon strings. So let's take a look at this ukulele. Now, a couple things about it. It is on sale right now, or at least it was on sale where it was selling. This one is the mahogany version. There are some people who have been sent these to review by Enya. I was not, I actually bought this. Uh, but the people that have been sent them have been sent the Koa model, but they're made of HPL, which is high pressure laminate. It's the same stuff that your countertops are made of. And in fact, Bonanza ukulele uh, started off with that, making HPL ukuleles. Enya has been making them, the real famous round soprano that Enya once sold for, remember, $29 for the kit. It was amazing. Um, that's made out of HPL. Martin used to make an HPL ukulele, but I think they they ditched it. And I know there's another company that's going to be introducing some HPLs real soon. So HPL has some really cool properties. It's not subject to climate change as much, even, even more so than just standard laminate. And um, it's really tough because, you know, it's like your kitchen counter. So let's open this guy up. As you can see, this will be the first gig big I've ever had that has a cross zipper. And I have been looking at the Enya X1 for a long time. The X1M um, was around $50. I don't think I can, I don't see it out there anymore for sale, but it was a HPL laminate concert. Bernadette had reviewed it, for example, and I kind of wanted one of those. I'm a concert player for starters, and just would be nice to have HPL ukulele. Well, this is pretty much the X1M 
plus the smart fretboard. So the gig bag is really nice. It's padded nicely. You don't get a pocket, unfortunately, to hold all your, your goodies. So that's the one negative. I'll have to look at it again. Maybe there is a pocket hiding there and I haven't seen it. When we get to the full review, we'll take a look at that. All right, so I always like the packaging with Enya. They do a great job. Their kits are wonderful. Um, the little thoughtful, you know, bag that says Enya is real nice. Lava Music had a really nice one with their uh, Lava U recently that I just reviewed. All right, I'm taking it out. So take a look at this. It has just a rounded headstock, that Enya logo. I think that's telling you that it's their smart ukulele. So it's HPL mahogany. Really pretty. And again, I have no problems with, with any of Enya's builds. They're all pretty incredible. But what makes this one a little different than the Populele is that it doesn't have the controls on the side. And later on, I will do a comparison with the Populele first generation. I don't have the second in this model. But as you can see, there is nothing on here to tell you that it is a smart ukulele other than that up there on the headstock. The actual charging port is in the fretboard. And the fretboard does not appear to be radius. I could be wrong on that. It's hard to tell. Sounds wonderful right now. But let's tune it up real quick. Went a little high. And those strings will sell quickly, but here you go, just a little sound sample here. Tune it up again. All right, how about this one? Yeah, so, I always like Enya products. You can really trust the brand as a whole, and they're always set up well. I can already tell this one's set up really, really well. And the thing that I really like about this one is that if you buy this smart ukulele, now, granted, they're normally double this price. This one right now is just $60, which is why I said I need to get it and review it. But... If you buy one of these, even for $120 or $130, whatever they are normally, you're going to get an ukulele that's going to look and sound like a really decent ukulele even after you're done using the lighted fretboard. People won't know unless you turn it on. And um, there's something super cool and practical about that versus the Papalele, which kind of screams, I'm a, I'm a beginner. And we'll talk more about that as we compare it and as I review this one down the road. But um, that is it. So there is the Enya Smart Ukulele, the mahogany one, which for some reason is $10 less than the Koa print. Uh, the Koa one does have a little different headstock. 
But other than that, I, I'm not sure what the differences would be because you're still dealing with a pull-through bridge. You're still dealing with the same technology in the neck and everything else. So that's what I'm looking at. So thanks for watching this unboxing, and I will be back soon with some more Uke stuff for you.